Hello, today the topic of cybersecurity interest is USB devices. You may not know this, but just because a USB device looks like a flash drive that you can store information on, it doesn't mean that it actually is a flash drive. The internal hardware, the mechanism inside, could actually do something completely different. In fact, that's the case with this particular device I'm going to show you here. I received this as a product demo from a business associate and what I found was it's actually what's called a human interface device or HID. Human interface devices emulate a keyboard, a mouse, or some other type of input device. Now unfortunately Windows is very vulnerable to these USB devices being malicious. And I'm going to show you what happens when I plug this into the computer. But basically, if you ever find a USB device, let's say on a sidewalk somewhere, or you're not sure where this came from, use great caution when plugging it into a Windows-based computer. It can actually hijack your computer, control it, send key commands, all kinds of things. So I'm going to plug this in to a standard USB port and I'm going to show you what happens. Plugged in. I'm not typing the keyboard. Look at the screen. It just launched my web browser and took directly to this Sunjoy website. Now the fact that it was able to execute anything it typed into that run dialog meant it could have ran anything it wanted on my computer. Horrible, horrible mechanism that Microsoft allows this to happen. And unfortunately there's nothing you can even really do to stop that. The, when you insert it into the USB port like that on Microsoft Windows, it is not the same thing as the auto run for a CD or a DVD. Auto run you can disable. USB HID, human interface device mechanisms, you cannot disable inside Windows. You can target specific ones if you know the unique identifier for the particular hardware. But you'd have to know what it is before you even plugged it in. And obviously, if you knew what it was, you wouldn't plug it in to begin with. So there's some serious security issues with these type of USB devices. Mac won't have this problem, Mac OS X. And I'm sure Linux doesn't have these problems either. But Windows sure does. So I just wanted to point this out that you need to really be careful um, with an unknown USB device. Just because it looks like a flash drive doesn't mean that it actually is. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.